for the 365 Days Project video podcast. This is Stephen Poff. I'm here with another uh, tutorial for you. Uh, this week I want to talk about uh, diffusion. Uh, diffusion is the softening of the highlights in your photo. Uh, one way of doing it is by going up your, to your filter, motor, uh, filter menu here in Photoshop and going to distort and diffuse glow, but I actually have a, uh, another way of doing this I like to use. Uh, we're going to work on this photo of my lovely bride here. Her name is Tammy. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, we've got our background layer here. I'm going to hit Control J. Control J makes a copy of the current layer that I'm working on. I'm going to go down here and click on the Add Layer Mask icon. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to Image and then apply image. Now what that's going to do is take the image, uh, whichever one you choose, and we're going to use the default settings here, but basically what it does is it takes um, the bottom layer there and it uses it as a layer mask. So on a layer mask, whatever is dark hides the current layer that you're on. Whatever is light brings it back through. So basically by doing that, um, we've added a black and white layer here to um, to the mask and now all it's letting show through is the lighter areas of the photo which is what we want to affect. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on the, uh, the icon for the layer there. I'm going to click off of the, uh, the mask and on the layer icon and then I'm going to go to my bl layer blending modes and I'm going to set that to screen. All right, see now that the photo's gotten much lighter here. All right, uh, this might be a little too light to most of your taste because uh, this photo was actually, uh, I'd already done all my corrections to it and everything, and so it didn't really need to be lightened up any. Um, but we're gonna fix that in, a little, in, a, in just a second. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to Filter. I'm gonna go up to uh, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Now, let's start down here. You'll notice that there is no change. Now, and this depends on the resolution of your picture. This is a lower resolution photo here. But uh, you can see as I drag up there, it starts softening up my highlights. All right, now uh, I'm using about 2.4 here. And you can see the preview turned on and off. Um, and that seems to work really well for me. I like that. Um, on a, high, a higher resolution photo, uh, straight out of the camera, I might even go up to like uh, 8 pixel, pixels or so. So um, just kind of play around with it until you get uh, a result that you like. Now actually, that did fix um, some of uh, how light my photo was, but that's just a little too much for me. So I'm going to go to the opacity and I'm going to drag that down just a little bit. All right. Now, there you go. I'm going to show you the uh, before and the after. Now, the before wasn't bad, but I do like the softening of the second one. Um, this can help clear up blemishes without having to get too uh, destructive with the, uh, uh, with the healing tool or anything like that. Um, this is just a really quick way to pretty much soften up uh, your photo and the skin tones and um, and give it a real uh, nice finished look. Now, I'm gonna try it um, on a different one. And I'm gonna show you a different uh, way to do some diffusion. This one, again, I've chosen a photo of my lovely bride. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna go a little quicker here. I'm going to hit Control J, duplicate my layer, mask, image, apply image, okay. Set my mode to screen. Okay, and again, I'm going to go to Filter, uh, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And the reason I'm showing you this one is because I noticed that whenever I did this one uh, earlier, as I was doing a little test, um, that her eyes got really soft here. And I like for my eyes to generally be really sharp. Um, so what you can do is click on your mask and then you can grab a brush and then kind of paint black in there 
just around the edges, just for the things that you really want to bring back your sharpness. And there you go. And I use a real uh, sh soft brush there. All right. Now, there are also other ways to do diffusion. This is the, the one I like um, whenever I've already toned my photos and I've already got my blacks and my exposure set correctly. But sometimes, straight out of the camera, if you have a low contrast photo, it can benefit from a little more contrast. What you can do, I'm going to throw away um, this mask here. We're going to still use the Gaussian blur because the, that uh, still applies. I'm going to delete that layer mask. Okay. Now you can see, obviously, that's not very good. Um, so what you, what you can do, though, is you can set it to um, overlay. That's very contrasting. Um, you can set it to soft light. It's not as contrasty, but it, it, it's a nice effect. And then you might want to tone it down. Now you also notice that it's added quite a bit of a um, color saturation here, so that's an added benefit too if you're if you're into that. So anyway, uh, play around with those blending modes, uh, play around with your opacity, and uh, and have fun with it. So for the 365 Days Project video podcast, see you next week.